Hey y'all, this is Mike with Mike Brazier Horsemanship. We're working today on an installation video with our partners Drinking Post Water. I'm excited to get these posts in. And so we're gonna show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to get this done and get put in. So the first thing we're gonna do is tap into our water line coming out of the main well house. We're gonna tap into that water line. We're gonna come around and we're gonna dig a depth of a, a trench. We're gonna dig a trench at a depth of about four feet for me here in Colorado. Um, check with your local uh, extension agent, find out what frost line is in your area, and you wanna be sure that you're at or below your frost line um, when you're digging your trench and putting in your pipe. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna dig that trench, we're gonna come around to where we're gonna set the post, and we're gonna dig about a three foot by three foot by six foot hole, okay? So you might need to make it a little bit bigger so you can work, but you need at least three foot by three foot, and then what that's gonna do is create a leach field for your post to sit on top of. The next thing we're gonna do at that six foot depth is we're gonna fill the first foot of that down at the bottom with some washed rock is what I'm using. And what that does is creates a leach field down at the bottom of that hole um, for the water to drain away as, as the post drains away. And so we're gonna put, a, like I said, about a 12 inch rock base down underneath there. After that, we're gonna put some geotextile material on top of that rock um, I'm gonna use landscape material is what I'm gonna use. Uh, so we're gonna put that landscape material down. Then we're gonna use some just cinder blocks or bricks to set the post on. That way that helps keep everything a little bit more level and so that when you're coming up out of the ground, that post is straight, straight up and down. So we're gonna tie that in like that. We're gonna tie into our water line. We're gonna screw that, that water line right into the, to the post. We're gonna take a bucket or shovel or whatever and we're gonna backfill real gently around that connection down there at the bottom. And then just gradually fill in the hole. And we're gonna keep everything straight up and down, perfectly vertical as we can, um, level as we can. And that's it, we're gonna be ready to go. Go turn on the water, horses have free, frost free, no electricity, automatic waters all year round. And as all of us in the horse world knows, most important thing with our horses is water.